Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Today we are racing at Talladega. Last week we raced Kansas. Sam Oskin went back to back with Kansas races. He is starting about 10th or so. Just to guess based on where I see him on the on the track. He's not in contention for playoffs though as uh, this in Michigan is all that's left before we start the playoffs. Uh, Samet has, again, swept the Kansas races, earning him the nickname Kansas King. Last race, honestly, a pretty good race. This week, we expect something similar. 19 laps, a very short sprint for these guys to get as much laps as they can, especially those guys below the cut line or right at the cut line that need to gain above the cut line. Uh, a lot of unanswered questions. Again, locked into the playoffs. Because of the mathematics, I'm not willing to make too many announcements, but... You can kind of tell based off of how many points above. Some guys are probably advanced into the playoffs already. But uh, we're looking for a good 19 laps of good racing here today. Uh, I got Cactus King and Dark X Rain with us in the booth. Uh, Cactus, you got any thoughts? <clears throat> well, we're going to obviously see a very sim obviously super speedway racing. Going to see a lot of pack racing, a lot of lead changes. And maybe even the thing that the drivers and teams fear, the big one. Who knows? It's Talladega. Unpredictability. May even see a surprise winner. I will say, uh, two teammates starting in the front row. That's uh, Noah Clifton and Rabina Gonzalez. Noah Clifton, a rookie who's currently last in the standings, <clears throat> and Rabina Gonzalez, our pull sitter, uh, arguably a legend of the NCCRS at this point. He's uh, almost made the. He almost won the championship in 2021, the first season when he drove the 26. Um. He's had a pretty solid career. Went to Chevy last year, ran all right. Um, has a lot to show for his career. Currently, uh, 100, well, 118 plus the cut line with that pole sitting position. That's 10 point bonus. Uh, he's looking really good right now to make the playoffs. <laughs> Highly doubt he'll get uh, eliminated before, but uh, as long as he has a good race today, I think he's got a pretty solid shot. And not to mention that pole position is all the more helpful. Dark X Rain, do you got any thoughts? Well, it's a track that depends on the drafts, then. Make sure you have your own tag team partner. Drafting partner's big. Three wide, six wide, and... As you said earlier, we have Gonzalez, who actually won the pole for this race. But I don't think the pole sitter actually will win it. Yep. Now, there's been some stuff in the past we've seen at short Talladega sprints like this. We've seen Austin John sweep the Talladega races in 2021. Uh... And uh, he actually did start the pole for the second of those races. Uh, didn't start pole for the first of them. But we have seen pole sitters win here at uh, Talladega. Just, uh, we'll see how it goes today. This is a new version of Talladega, by the way. Talladega 2021. Um, we'll see how it goes. Got about uh, a, little under, a little over a minute before we uh, get to the start of the engines. Also, some notable guards starting in the top five. We got a uh, Craig Pockers who has not really had a notable season, trying to get his uh, stuff together. Maybe get something out of this year. Roll on to next year as uh, he might be switching manufacturers. We'll see how well, uh, things go on that. And then Kyler Sustre, who uh, again won at Charlotte, had that uh, kept consistency name given to him after that six straight top ten streak. Uh, it's best to finish since was that win at Bristol, or not Bristol, Charlotte Rebel. Uh, he's looking to cruise in the playoffs as well, and then Monster looking to get something out of the season. Well, I don't think he is eligible for the playoffs. However, if he does well at Michigan, he may end up doing something, but we'll see how that goes. About a 20 seconds to the command now, so uh see what the pace car Cam gives us for that. Want to wheel, wheel, wheel together for today's race? I just said it is a sprint type. Start your engines. Oh, and there's one car in the back having mechanical issues. It is the 16 of Riley Gorse. 
who started right behind his teammate of Monster, Riley Gore, starting off this race with mechanical issues. Did not need that, but uh, so far, solid rookie camp. Actually, he may be getting it together now. Might have missed a shift. Uh, actually, no, never mind. He is have some no, mechanical please. issues. He's going go to pit He's gonna go to pit road. We'll see if he comes back oh, out. Lord. Maybe hope for a yellow yeah, on might... his part. That's oh, and the 85. Covered the old eyes. 85 having an issue as well. Ooh, oh, that's... Oh, no. That's going to be bad. That's going to be a black flag with the 85. As he is having mechanical issues as well. Yeah, me. Trying to get down on the Well. Yeah, he's right in front of the pack. The store. Oh, they're going to wreck. Yeah, oh, he saved there it. He goes. Oh, no, he didn't Ooh. save it. He, he like, almost it. saved it. Honestly. Well, that involves any caution or... I yeah, think... That's definitely a caution. Yeah, we're going to have to... Throw one for that. So first Nine yellow of the day for the we 85. <laughs> we said, uh, what did we say pre-race? We said, well, this would be big for anyone who's wanting points. Race to the line here. If you can lead at the line, that is guaranteed at least three laps lead. There's. We'll go and take a look at what happened to the 85 after they cross the line here. No, until the The inside line's coming. Uh, Craig's got to run. Craig's got to run. Craig Pockers in the 46. You got it. So the fuckers will take it. Yep. Barely. Craig Pockers, 46, is your leader. Take a check really. on the 16. We were just talking about how the 16. Oh, well, never mind. He's out of the race. Was not able to start. Already one car out of the race. Um, then Alex Tanker going to pit road with his issues. Let's see what happened to him. Um, that was just a recipe for a disaster. Uh, really not much I he could have done there. He was on the top lane trying to go came low. Down. He came down trying to go low, which was already not wise in itself. The uh, nail was wrecked there. That could have been big. Yeah, and then got right in front of uh, the, 80, the 72 of uh, Aztec Lovett. And then... Got Wait, he had nowhere to go because he had mechanical issues, and since he couldn't get on pit road because it's blocked by a monster, I would not call it as fault for that. Yeah, I, I can't really fault 85 there, he but... Couldn't, yeah, he couldn't get on pit road, so I don't see no black flag for that one. Yeah, however, we were just uh, about to mention that, uh, you know, he's only 23 bo points above the cut line, and... He was looking for a good day today. Uh, already not looking so great for the 85 car. He's, I think he's still in the race, but uh, that's going to definitely hurt him. Next, you could put him below the cut line. In fact, uh, the 85 will not finish he's this up. race. He is out. That's going to affect him big time. Well, that's two cars out already, and we wow. really, we haven't really even made a lap yet. We're going green next time. Bye. Uh, Craig Packers. I mean, this is big. Maybe only two laps in. That wasn't even a lap without having a wreck. They did not even well, make it. Those guys definitely did not need this at all. No, they, they didn't, didn't even. Not, they especially didn't. that 85. I go and 85 turn, and 16. I go and to the pit lane one real quick and turn on something real quick. Turn on our uh, well, checkers. Based off the points, if we look at the points correctly. But uh, this will not help the 85 for his standings as he is now the, the NCRS. Yeah, so he's, he's going to drop. anywhere. Yeah, the 85, 23 points, points in. He may be on the outside walking in. Yes, the uh, 16. Yeah, uh, look like the old 9 is out as well. That would and be, 85 just, has had a hitter issue. Yeah, the 09 is not a registered car in the race. That's just me. The 09 is a player. Yeah, that's just me. But uh, the 16, uh, like I said, didn't even, make did, it. didn't even make it to the line to start the event, so the game did not score him. So that's going to hurt him even worse. Yeah. Well, it's not going to hurt him, but it's going to make and it. And 85 haven't hit him. Yeah, so the 16, 85, yep. every two cars out of the race, we're down to 43. Uh, again, restart violation rules are in place. Um, haven't tested that out here. Didn't think we'd see any yellows, but I guess we did. Um yeah, right. we'll watch right, this here one car here. The one car currently on the block. Make sure he does not make a restart violation. 46 Craig. Packers is your leader. 
Same as Austin last week's winner, currently in fifth. Well, actually sixth, but well, it depends on where they have it lined up. <laughs> Are we nobody spin their tires? Down the triable. Remember that. Uh, Remember the start and finish line is way further than any other track. Near turn number one, exactly. Here they come through the trial wins the Geico restart zone. The green flag's back on the air. We're restarted here at Talladega. And restart is clear. And the yet the one will take a nice restart there. I wouldn't say he will stellar, take the lead but... in turn one. Yeah, I don't know. He was close to being black flag, but that was just really, had enough. He, he, that he, was really close. He was not close. He was within a car length. Rule is if there's a car As they are packed up here already, the pack is forming a third line. Some guys are already in the middle. Got some three wide. Three right. wide, three I believe that is for back the pack maybe here. ninth or tenth. And we got three wide through the good portion of the pack. 17, Byron Webb. As the one car will continue the lead off turn number four and into the trial. So far, we have the. A three car one break. One on the low lane. Three and it's side by side from fourth on back. The one car of Noah Chilp. No Clifton. Would lead that lap. He gets a 10 point bonus. Or he gets a one point bonus for leading a lap. Outside, trying to pass on one car. Justin, three wide for the lead. And that was three wide for the lead. That is the 63 of Sundown. He's going to take the lead. Followed by the 76. They like that high lane is trying to form, but it just ain't that many. It's just a low side in the. He's in the middle, taking advantage. Well, Some they're trying to fall on the high side. Get a point. Okay, we get that the fact he's getting a point, but we also... One point per lap led. Got a four-car breakaway here. here. He's going the outside line, he's trying to... And more cars go to the inside line. They've got a three-car big breakaway blocking the track. And here comes the 75. Here comes the 75 as he gets a nice run. He's going to get a little 13. bit of help from the 70. Good help from the actually 13, 73 of Shred. Oh, uh, 73. So. Points to comes the 99 line, line number 20 in tow. Ooh, that was a big block there. It's a big one up high. 99 making it three wide. Three wide in the tri oval. 75 is going to probably be the lap. And I yeah. think that is Jimmy. Yeah, the 75 uh, that's the 99. That's the 99. He's going to be really out there. Little Potato we're Boys. We all have three different lines at Little Palladale. Potato Boys. We got three by three behind the two leaders. Oh, big block. We're mostly going to be working together, but the 51 trying to make it three wide. Okay. Remember what I said earlier? Big you got to find team partner. Three wide, the 51 of Brock Nelson. Rear wide for fur. Do we have the O6? Nelson will take the lead. He's going to go a little bit high. Here, three by three throughout the majority of the pack here. The retrieval looks like the fifth. Looks like the O6 will lead that lap. Yeah, he will. And it looks like the tie card will try to make it through wide, but. Oh. Couldn't make it in time. Separation O6 is turn. The inside yeah, line yeah, is going to be the score. preferred yeah, line, but speaking. I don't know. The preferred line, maybe the inside line is the preferred line to get up through the back and to the lead here. It depends on what line has the most cars. You got more cars, you got more yeah, to take, a, take the lead. But at the moment, it looks like Jen is 64 on. trying to make a move on the 06 here. As they head through the front stretch of the trial. Little bit, so they're still getting a little bit for the majority of the pack. The 06 will lead yet another lap. It's a three car separation from the pack as they separate and block the inside line now. They're not really being that much separate. I mean, the low line got the advantage. Now it's two but by two. The high line is trying to get through. The is dying out. That outside line is done. Yeah, here comes the 07. 
Let's go drafting from the 10. That will be Jet 64 as that's oh, three wide for a second. Three wide for third, actually. And the 22 of Face Guide. Smith Guide, Spencer Guide, as he's trying to guide his way to the lead. But. As he's going to he try to take the lead, close, he, he not gonna will lead that not lead the lap. And here comes the. Here comes the M&M's. The that is the machine of the 71. Well, he's currently in second. As he's going to try to make a move. Potentially, maybe three away for the lead. He jumps on the three. Here comes a four. Frank. Frank Chilton. Yep. Frank Chilton Frank trying to make Chilton. a pass on the inside try here. Three he knows in the inside. We almost three got four wide. Two blocked the inside line. Chilton does close the door. Third line is there now. That Allison line does not have a lot of help, so break is going to probably break away here quickly. As actually, as I see that, there's some more cars joining that line. The 22 continues to lead here. Maybe Frank Children's going to try to make a move. He jumps to the well, outside with, with the 22, him. actually the middle. Now back and to the low side. Here comes the number Level 11, 11 which means freeze. Level 11, level 19, we have nine laps to go here at Talladega Super Speedway. The intensity is starting freeze to ramp up to the bottom. Here comes Vince Freeze for second. Unfortunately, uh, he's by himself at the moment. <laughs> Actually, he's got some he more. Got some bit of help from from behind him. He's got some more. So. Now, the inside lines begin to form here. The 22 he possibly could have made the, the pass. Lead. Now he's going to try to get the outside line. Now the inside line trying to reform here. And it looks like the 45 and Ian Styles is going to try to make a move on the 22. Oh, so the, the 22 might the be forced on him. He's going to make the so far. He make the block. The 44 is going to try to make a battle for the lead, and he will go to the lead here at Talladega Super Speedway. That is, Lots yeah, the 45 is even Styles. As he's now the leader. And now he's watching the line. Here comes the 90 of Matthew. He's going to take the lead. Here comes the 90 of Matthew Hill, and he's going to easily jump up the middle. But here comes but, the... But he leaves the bottom lane open. That's going to be for the number 58. 58 of uh, Melinda, Melinda Jones. Melinda Jones. He's going to take the lead. Actually, he's just a she. That's what I said. So like you said he, but okay. <laughs> and is that the bush car? It looks like we got a bush car here. That is, that uh, is Gonzalez. Yep, Gonzalez. So Gonzalez has made his way back up to the front, and he will retake the lead. He looks like he's got the 48 behind him. Yeah, he stays with him in the middle, go. but it's going to give room for a bottle for the got 48. Oh, we got three wide for a second now. Ooh. For three wide for a second. Melinda Jones all the way on the high side there. Yeah, she's going to blow. 18 of Patrick Miller with the 17 behind him. The 17 so of Byron B. He's going to try and make a move. The 20 is behind there as well. As they're making really aggressive walks here. Six laps to go here, Talladega. So the far, that middle lane did have an advantage. Now we have a four car pull away. So the six, single file for the first four cars, and it's, thing, and it's double file on back, and then some three wide. And you can see the. Oh, and here comes the 18 and the 17, but there's going to be three wide for the lead potentially. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's trying to. No, he will not. He tried making a three wide, didn't work. He's going to help out the 18. The 18 is going to go to the lead. Patrick Miller to the lead here at Talladega Super Speedway. And now the group are back together. Now we're going back to the double leg. Oh, eight in the 17. There's a trial. Five laps to go here at Talladega Super Speedway. The intensity is ramping up. We have three by three at old weight block there. Really late block. As he tried to block the 17. Three what wide, nice three behind the top three. As there are three wide behind the top three. No, here comes the 33. Ooh, Monster gets a nice little run, Monster's but... Monster's going to try to make a move here. And, oh, we got some... Oh, 
We got to try to make some four wide moves here. Something we haven't seen all day is a four wide move. The question is, would work? As Monster is going to try to go from, try to take the lead away from the 18. Yeah, they tried to go the low, but they lead does top top. three of our single file. It's double file and then three wide. The top three block the outside, and they're going to block go to the middle and down to the bottom. Oh, they're making some really good block by the 37, here. blocking them, Rod, for not getting the bottom. Yeah, and they're really waking, and they're really walking away. That's something you got to watch out for. Is the really late walk? You know, there comes a 33 really and, and, the, and a 37 of Genghis. Can Genghis and, actually uh, take the lead? Monster no, he will not. He'll come behind the 33. Monster, Monster will take the lead. Coming to three to go here at Talladega. I mean, this will be good for him in the standings, but I don't think it's going to be enough for him to crack the into the playoffs. But the 37 is not too far behind as he's going to try to peek. Get a drift off Monster. He's going to go low in turn number one. Third seven of Colton, I guess it's Collins. And that's little YouTube it's car. Gone. As we're almost three wide again. Number one is going to take the lead here. Two and, and a half laps three gets a nice run, but he decides to go high. Three we were for 97 as we're now three wide again for the lead. It's a bit tight, but everyone decides to keep their peace. 97 is in the lead. I was. Here comes that Pilk C4 as he's trying to get off the draft. All right, about him, as he got the Coca Cola. Yeah, that 50 laps to go here. Talladega. For a little bit. Here we go. Two laps to go here. Talladega. Three by to go. three throughout the pack. 57 may try to go back to back here to win in Kansas. I don't know. It's, it's going to be very interesting. Here to go back to back, Zach. So these are some hungry guys behind them. Oh, here they here they they're going to make moves here. Here comes a 55. Yeah, the 50. Yeah, it's going to go to the bottom. And the followed by the Jimmy John. Five of Ryan Poole. He's going to make a move. He will take the lead. Just barely take the lead. Get help of the 72. To the lead is Ryan Cole. Here they really come. Going at it. This time, Three wide for first. And they're going to make another move. Here they it. come. Side by side for the white flag. White flag in the NCR. NCCRS race here at Talladega. As as the lead and they're going to make a moon turn one. Oh. Craig Parker is taking the lead here in turn number one. Let's see what he can do. He's. They're side by side behind him. What can he do? Can he block the low line? Will they make a move? I mean, that 73, 73 does have a nice run, and then. And here they come. Sunday looking at the bottom, but he doesn't have come. any help. 73 car. Oh, Red's going to try to take the lead here. They're side by side. They're three and four. Shred's going to take the lead here on turn number four. The question is one last move. Here they come. Through this tri -oval. Here they come. They're going to make a move. There. Well. Yeah, no. Ooh, three by three. The They're three wide. They're three wide. Three by three. And the winner is going to be red. Is going to barely lose it. It's actually going to be the sixty-three. So some damn line. Some damn win. I gotta see how close that was. Get some tie. Closest no, finish. Wide photo finish in NCCRS history. Uh, yeah, go to the finish line real quick. I want to see how close it was. See if we closer, get a better angle. Closer than what the game can calculate. Holy oh, cow. Um, by so you need another angle. Literally that by is close. Even. I need another angle. That's maybe a, towards the that's uh, a crap uh, angle. They're dead even. Yeah. Three more. That's wow, that's that's not do. dead even. Sundan got it by by a tip of a, of a fender. By a yeah, some didn't won that one. But look how close it was. That was almost that was a three on the tie. But some didn't win it legal. by literally. I want to say pre race. By us. And I talked about this pre race the unpredictability of Talladega and what we could get for you a surprising winner. And the Talladega did not disappoint us. By maybe 
a tenth of a centimeter. A three wide photo finish in NCCRS Talladega. Some damn wow. will take the victory. Then 73 is shred will be second. Then 93 is third. So a little nuggier. That is finish. the third straight second place finish for that 73 car. Wow. Was the points leader, and he has yet to win his first race. That was an amazing finish. Some managed from the last lap to get the victory. That was close. Well, you got a little distance. Closest finish. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting. Closest finish in NCCRS history. You can see it right there. The game does. There is nothing between them. The game cannot calculate for. Jack. So my only guess is it's something closer than one one thousandth of a second. So there you go. In the sixty-three. I mean, even even if the game the number, you can clearly see Sunday on there. Yeah, he was. Like, I don't know. You could clearly Maybe see one thousandth of a second, but you could see. You clearly see that. something crosses the line, and that's just from That's gonna be huge for the line. That is holiday racing for you. If you don't have wrecks, we have close finishes. And actually, that's going to be huge for the cut line. Is that was a dude that was on the cut line. Some didn't need this win, and actually, that's going to advance them into the playoffs. I would say that. I mean, look at the, I mean, look at the top five. Like, you got 0, 0. 0.1, 0, 0. 0.8, 0, 0. 0.9. That is on 0, 11, 0, 15. Yep. I mean, it's Talladega. It that never will, disappoints. That will put the 63 oh, that's above the cut line. Monster Energy Cup Series race. <laughs> that, that's the closest hey, that's to the CCRS finish. I'll have to see if there is another way to calculate how close it actually was. But uh, I don't know. Under 2003, they, they kill on the 63 car, and the cameras prove it. Yep. Well, I mean, you can literally see that, he, that his finish comes on line first. Yep. But you know, for the game's sake, it doesn't go as... I don't know, really do a good job tackling anything. Yeah, I'll have to see if there's another way to go into deeper calculation, but we know who won it. Uh, it was yep. clear, but uh, dang, close finish in NCCRS history. Uh, like I said... Great race, very clean race. Other than, well, the start, obviously. 85 had his issues. I mean, the start did have, like, transmission issues, but for those that are out... It's a hard break that's, for them, but be 85. Like, that's going to be 85. I mean, even Moon Man got that's four. Team, but more to the 85, because the 85 is in the playoffs. That's probably going to most likely knock him out, especially with the win of Some Dan. Yeah, with Some Dan, and uh, I don't know Alan about Sinker. He's going to need something to get. He's going to need something big here in Michigan to get himself yeah. back in. Yeah, we'll have to see how the points. I don't even think this is going to help at this point, but. With the ambition goes, but that was incredible. Yeah, and that is the NCCRS at Talladega. We hope to see you at Michigan next week. We're signing off. Also, uh, Tucker didn't show up. Uh, I guess I didn't do it right or something, but uh, I'll get that figured yeah, out. Yeah, I don't think the thing has it like how many mil or per second it has, but. No. Well, you can clearly see Sunday passes the line, though. So. Yeah. But that was pretty close. Oh, that's gonna the 93 our... and the 73 pretty close. Oh, that's going to conclude our broadcast. See y'all next week.